Welcome back tonight in our summaries. Guta Still Defiant says it wouldn't open the shops of uh, foreign retailers. We have details on that and other stories from here in Ghana and around the world. The minority caucus in parliament has served notice to hold finance minister Ken Oferiata and the governor of the Bank of Ghana to clarify issues surrounding the new higher denomination Ghana City notes. The two are also to clarify government's position on Ghana's commitment to adopting the new regional currency, ECHO. Despite calls by President Kufuado to the Ghana Union of Traders Association to stop attacking foreign traders in the country, the association remains resolute in its quest to stop foreign retailers from doing business. Guta on Monday locked up about 600 shops belonging to foreign traders around Tiptoe Lane near the Kwame Nkrumah Circle. Meridian Port Services, the leading terminal operator at the Tema Port, has been directed to seize upfront charges on containers in the red channel category at the Port of Tema. The red channel category containers are those flagged as containing goods other than what the importer has declared. Chinese telecoms giant Huawei has launched a legal challenge to a decision by U.S. regulators to classify it as a national security threat. It comes after the U.S. Federal Communications Commission put caps on rural mobile providers using an $8.5 billion government fund to buy Huawei equipment. The firm said evidence that it was a threat to security does not exist. nationwide strike has severely disrupted schools and public transport across France. Workers are angry at being forced to retire later or face reduced pensions. School and transport workers have been joined by police, lawyers and hospital and airport staff for a general walkout that could include millions of people.